by far the most destroyed airplane I've ever had in the air. <laughs> Half of the fuselage is missing and it was just like spiraling out of control every time. Now I, oh, whoa, 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 there's my battery. And that was, that's, that's why. It, <laughs> I've never seen <laughs> I, oh. And that was, that's, that's why. It, I've had planes on the channel by this brand, Zod, before, and I generally really like them. They take the time to, to, to put out a really good airplane that's very easy to put together and usually flies really well and also is usually pretty durable and very forgiving if you crash. And actually, I've crashed this airplane. Getting it ready uh, while I was learning to use my new uh, smart receiver, I think I had something off and I came up here to do a test flight. It was really windy, way too windy. I shouldn't have even tried, but I thought I can fly a plane like this. I have safe and it should be working, so I should be fine. And I crashed it. So I took some hot glue. And he did this off camera. I was off. getting everything ready and he crashed. And I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, I, I just <laughs> wanted to test it really fast. Um, I, I basically snapped the nose clean off and just a little dab of hot glue puts that together. The worst thing I did was the tab that is now a pile of hot glue uh, broke off and I, I lost it. Just a little tiny foam tab. And um, don't worry, I pick up enough litter to make up for that. Uh, but anyway, the that works. My new hot glue tab actually works. So pretty proud of that. Uh, this is a great beginner style airplane because you can slap whatever receiver you want in there. And actually this has a receiver that can come with it. It also has a GPS system that can work with it. And you may notice, there's a hole in the front of the plane. It's designed to be a small FPV flyer, but I don't really do a lot of that. I just thought it looked like a cool little pusher prop airplane and a good time for me to test putting a safe receiver in here, a Spectrum safe receiver, and that's what I did. So today we're gonna fly this and let you know if it's worth your hard-earned money. It's linked in the description box below, and just know that if you use those links, you do support our channel. So if you intend on buying one of these, you know, it goes a long way to help to support us. So if you've found entertainment value in our channel in any way at all, or uh, you've decided that this, this video is enough to help you buy something or we helped you by discussing something in the comments, please at least consider using our links. It does help us a lot. So guys, let's fly this, let's see how it does, and uh, yeah, well, uh, it might crash. It could crash again. It crashed once, it could crash again. <laughs> Before we take off, I wanna thank today's sponsor, Leading Edge Supplements Severe Clear. This is an energy supplement that is designed to help your mental focus. A full-scale pilot actually created this, him and another full-scale pilot buddy. And uh, we have an awesome, exclusive RC Sailor promo code in the description box below. It can save you 15% when you buy this for yourself, maybe someone you know that likes energy supplements. So uh, give them some support, send them some love, have a link to the description box below and don't forget about that promo code. Let's go fly. Man, this plane was not meant to fly. I'm sorry for laughing. I love you. He's so mad. Okay, the nose cone is sitting there on the ground. So is the canopy, apparently. And oh my gosh, oh my god. Please don't kill me. <laughs> Why won't this fly? It just like torqued out of nowhere. Okay, this is far, by far the most destroyed airplane I've ever had in the air. <laughs> Half of the fuselage is missing. I think the issue has been too much throttle. So right now, this is designed to fly on a 2S or 3S battery. I have a 3S battery in, and uh, you get a two-bladed prop or a three-bladed prop to, uh, to choose when you fly it. I have the two-bladed prop on. 
and at full throttle I think is way too much and it was just like spiraling out of control every time now I oh whoa 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 there's my battery and that was that's that's why it, <laughs> I've never seen a, <laughs> the battery came out of the plane because there's no canopy and it did a loop-de-loop -loop. <laughs> oh you're trying again oh my gosh Why do you hate this plane? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh jeez, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. <laughs> yeah, you guys have no idea how badly I just want this to work and fly. And that's why, uh, don't do what I'm doing. If your plane is damaged, never, never fly it or anything. Uh, I just, there's not that much damage. The battery's in there nice and snug. The only reason it popped out is because it went kind of crazy. Um, I, I think that maybe I, I have too powerful of a battery in here or something. I'm going to try to climb this and turn safe on and see what happens and try to trim it up because I'm just learning here, you know? The plane flies fine, it's a good plane, but this is all, for me now, it's, I have a mountain in front of me that I'm trying to climb, and I want to get over that mountain right now, so let's, uh, let's turn safe on. Nope, And it nope, crashes nope, nope, down, nope, nope. oh my gosh! I think safe is like, something's reversed in there or something. You gotta so, fix that. You know, you live and you learn. <laughs> <laughs> or you do it over and over and over again. <laughs> this poor plane. What did this plane do to you? <laughs> That's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Now sometimes we have good days and sometimes we have bad days. And I don't care what you guys think. I'm, I'm kind of viewing this as a success. <laughs> okay. First of all, I want you to see the damage because that's always fun. It's wiggling. It's broken okay <laughs> I, I just need just bent. a lot of hot glue will oh, hold that back see. together believe it or not this will fly again and and amazingly it flew like this with no canopy on the front you so know, this was your fault not zod's oh, fault 100 percent. yeah no, this, this is a great airplane i actually really like this i'm using this as a learning platform so that should tell you guys if you're new in the hobby and you want something that's a nice pusher prop easy to learn on very forgiving very you know it's taken well the only reason hits. to buy this is to fly to fuv to be honest mm -hmm. Sure, but I have a lot to learn with those Spectrum smart receivers and, and getting them right, okay? Clearly, clearly something was wrong there. That's me, I'm learning. And you destroyed the plane for the greater good. Yeah, right, that's what I'm doing. I didn't, I didn't want to destroy it, but I was persistent. I wanted, the only way you can really learn, like I, I, I turned safe off and AS3X was on and it was flying okay. So then what I want to do, climb up, turn safe on, and see what it did. If I just went home and I did, you know, it flipped upside down. So I think that maybe my orientation of my receiver is wrong in my radio. Something is not right. Something is not right. I don't know why I couldn't handle that, but the, uh, the Spitfire on the channel recently did just fine. So I, I guess our, our channel is somewhat unique because there's a... 99% of the RC people out there, they love to show perfection on their channel. They, they do no wrong, they are perfect. Well, I, I promise you that's not the case. Uh, and I know, I know a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes. <laughs> but I am a human and I like to show the human error that happens. Frustration, good, bad, falling off the horse, getting back on the horse, and there's no reason to hide this. The plane is great. Don't hold that against the airplane. It's actually amazing that it handled all that and just some glue will put it back together. But I want you guys to see that this is a very human hobby. Some of you will see me fly a plane and it's perfect, the Aero Scout or whatever. And then you'll fly it and it's not so perfect. Maybe you crash five times before you have your first successful flight. I want you to know you're not alone. I'm trying to learn something new here. And, and for me though, I don't know. I guess there's 260,000 people that can relate to me, at least, you know? <laughs> we all crash, and this happens. And me standing here talking to you is, is just, I don't know. <sighs> Gotta swallow that pill, you know? 
and uh, it's not going down very well. But <laughs> the pride pill, <laughs> something, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, it's just such a little. But I tried to take it up to the next next level and do safe, and you know. I, I thought this was a hilarious and funny video. Well, it's good. Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm glad you did. <laughs> it is fun. Hey, that's the hobby. Sometimes you just crash and this is not a trash airplane. It'll just take about five cents worth of hot glue. I actually ordered some more hot glue with Abby last night because I knew <laughs> this probably would happen. And I thought that with the Spitfire it could happen too, but I did something right with it that I didn't do with this. And you guys, you can buy a dumb receiver dumb because that's a smart receiver he put in 10, and bucks. it's gonna fly just fine perfect so the only reason i'm gonna reiterate this happened is because nate is trying to program safe technology onto a plane and he's that's never just... done it before until the spitfire and video it, it, the other day it's new to me and there's and i'm doing it on the nx6 and that's new and there's not a lot of people out there doing that right now there's a couple tutorial videos on it, but they're very vague, and I've got a buddy, Gary, kind of helping me with it, but it's all new to him. And, and we've had pretty good success with Zod. Oh, I love Zod. So. I love it, and I'm gonna get this plane back in the air. I will, I don't know if you guys will see it, but that's because, I, I don't know, here it is, you know? It's a good airplane. Uh, there's other stuff I wanna move on to as well. And look at those stickers. Oh, they look good, don't they? There you, I don't know, guys. I'm gonna go get warm. I'm a human, I make mistakes and I don't like a lot of other YouTubers. There we go, that's the end of the video. Uh, <laughs> uh, but for this learning experience, for the bad and the good in our lives, I thank God, I'm massive thank you because uh, I just wouldn't be able to appreciate the good in my life without moments like this and I just wanna share those moments with you guys, both good and bad. So I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Also, big thanks to our Patreon supporters because that five cents worth of hot glue is coming from our Patreon funds. Thank you very much. Also, these types of things that you see, my learning curve here, that is due to our Patreon supporters. So I thank you guys so much from the bottom of our hearts. You really mean the world to us. You're the backbone to our channel and you are what allows me to put the brave face on and, and publicly put a video out there like this. All the good stuff is linked in the description box below. If you'd like to repeat everything that I did here today, our entire setup, if you want to crash the way Nate crashed, will be linked in the description box below. <laughs> guys, <laughs> thanks for all the support. Uh, we really need to go and get warmed up. We'll see you over on the Shorts channel where we have a little fun with this thing. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you there. Bye!